yes. <laughs> Recording. Oh, yeah. So, hello. My name is Gabi. And this is Sally. Hi, Sally. And Sally in the moment has a toy in her mouth because she loves to lick. And so we always tell her, get a ducky. And then she runs and gets a toy. And then she is very, very happy. Yes. And there is Kelly. Kelly, come here. Kelly, come on. Come on, join us. There is Kelly. There she is. Come over here a little bit. Oh, yes, you are so cute. Oh, you are so cute. Look at this. So very photogenic. <laughs> and I'm, uh, I wrote a book. I wrote a book, Another Name, How Animal Reiki Found Me and Other Stories. And it's under my pen name, Gabriele Annegret. And it talks about my journey, how animal Reiki found me, about animals as spirits, about animals as healers. They really are. Yeah, they're just so wonderful. And I wrote about Kelly and Sally also in this book, uh, in the chapter Animals Speak. And maybe I can read you a little bit out of their chapter. So let me find it. And I have Kelly right here. They named me Kelly. I'm a red terrier mix and apparently mighty cute. I turned out rather small with a white coat, black ears, and some grayish black patches on my body. My hair is wiry and my belly, which I love to get tickled, has polka dots. My eyes are big and dark and full of inquiry and expression, and my nose is black. When I feel like running, I can be truly speedy and love to go around and around in circles. I also like to play catch, then hop on the sofa for a time out and throw myself on my back. Most of the time, I get a nice belly scratch. And we can see Kelly right here and her little polka dot belly. I live with another dog, also a girl who is a year younger than I am. She just turned five and her name is Sally. I like that she helps me bark when I hear someone approaching the house. I usually start and she comes running and chimes in. It is also a lot of fun to bark together at the gardeners. They only come once a week and we have to really turn it up our volume when they switch on their leaf blowers. Sally loves to go for walks. I can see her jumping for joy and that means I have to be quick to decide if I want to join her or not. Sometimes I just don't feel like going and prefer to snooze instead. Then I run and hide under the bed. Once in a while I get tricked and snatched before I can get away. However, when I'm outside, I actually kind of enjoy it. And so on and on. So that was just a little excerpt out of the book. And I might just read you a little bit more later. Very nice to meet you via Zoom. Bye. Bye. Say bye.